Hello and welcome to another video about the VP Force Force Feedback System. Today's video is gonna be about the Force Feedback Friction Effect. The Force Feedback Friction Effect simulates mechanical friction. That is, uh, firstly, to overcome the static friction you must exert some force. This force can be configurable. When the static friction is overcome, then the resistance is constant. In contrast with the damper effect, damper's uh, resistance is proportional to the velocity. So if I for example put some pressure to the motor, you can see it is damped, slowly moving, but it's not staying in one place. That's because there's no friction, only the damping force. I move it back. And again. Next, I'm gonna try to turn on the friction. Okay, now I have friction turned on. And now if I put some pressure, you can see the motor is staying in the same place. Now I'll put even more pressure. I have configured the static friction to be quite a high value at the moment. So you can see it still, still holds. But if I overcome the configured static friction, then I can turn the shaft. But it, it takes some pressure to do so. Yeah. It needs quite some force to, to move. This uh, solution is great for, for example, uh, building a collective to simulate the damper and friction. And if you put collective uh, weight, I mean the weight from the collective, the handle, it should stay in one place over time. So this uh, new friction effect will be released in the next firmware updates. So that's it for this short video. See you next time.